Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. This is the last official video of our Southwest tour. I'm over the moon to have done this. It's been a major uh, boost and positive, positive vibes for the page. What I will say about Devon and Cornwall and this part of the Southwest is cancel your chuffing flights to Portugal and Spain because the UK has got some stunning beaches and amazing locations. I've loved it and the food has been up to par two. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Now, those of you that saw our last video, we're at Guru Jays in Bristol. We absolutely loved it. It's sensational, pioneer stuff. Now, Josh, talking to him in Bristol, and he says to us, he's just opened a Piri flame grilled flaming hen here in Cheltenham. We're staying here tonight. I thought, why, why the hell not? Let's give this a review as well. So, Jess, I've gone for a burger, wing, and a loaded fries combo, about 15 quid worth of food. Let's just have a little shout out as well, by the way, um, to our amazing <laughs> motorhome. We've done absolutely no miles today. <laughs> Bus has taken the reins. There he is, look. Bus, are you all right? Good boy. Imagine if he tooted the horn. Yeah, mate, amazing. <laughs> so yeah, massive shout out to Main Unit Location Services for lending us this motorhome. Now, Jessica. Right, let's just get the food out and start talking then. My burger. But the... Josh from Guru Jay's is a is a, is a, like a pioneer in what he does, taking this Western food and putting unique flavours and a spin on everything. Um, hence my excitement of even being here. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. Someone there's there's, there's something else I haven't back. told you as well. I'm gonna leave that in the bag so it doesn't blow away. There's one more thing I haven't told you. The reason I was super keen to come here today and do it was he opened up to me that he's working with on his source development, just basically ironing out the qualities that are at the top of the tree. He's working with Tubby Toms. Those are, Tubby Tom is a, an award-winning source manufacturer, the best in the game. Legit incredible. Um, we've used this stuff hundreds of times. I absolutely love it. So these sources are in conjunction with hybrids of him. So you know what I mean, Jess? Hence why we're getting excited. Mm -hmm. Right, this is my double chicken burger. Can I also say that these sort of flame grilled chicken places are notoriously poor quality? Is that a fair, Jess, or not? Yeah, they're kind of... They're kind of cheap. Kind of cheap and like cheap and nasty. Yeah. They fit. They, uh, they fill a hole. Right, so this is a flour bap. Chicken, great in a flour bap. I've got a double... Oh, man. Double chicken. Is that barbecue? Yeah, this is the this is a sweet barbecue. Like, look, chicken lovers out there, there is other options than just getting your dirty fried chicken. Wow, this flowery bap, I love it. Get you that like, like the sawdust on your hands. Here we go. Now stop, 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 stop. How have you even tasted it? Yeah. Look, good. Look at the cook. The mayo, the sauce, the lettuce, double chicken as well, so you get a real bite and a real purchase in your mouth. You only have to go online. That is so good. <laughs> you only have to go online and look at the reviews. They're flying. Food lovers. You know. You know. Exactly what I'm saying. If you want decent chicken in a lot of places, you can't get it. Cheltenham knows. Cheltenham, you've now got one. Congratulations. Bosh. Double chicken burger and a flowery bap. Come on. I even said to him, why is it in a bap? Why is it in a bap? Huh. Everyone knows chicken's better in a flowery bap. <laughs> Man knows. Man knows. Man knows. Say again. Burger. You can have it if you want. Well, you did because you're shouting down the street at me. Cool. Thanks. He's shouting down the street. Man's trying to work out here. Man's trying to do a review. He's walking along with his white lightning. Come on, bruv. Right. 
we got here? This is. Oh no, is it raw chicken skin? No, Jess. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> right, this is the loaded fries. Okay, Jess. Oh my God. Not only have I got chicken skin on there, I've got one of the Ooh. signature mango sauces. Now you can get these sauces on the wings, the burger. They've got, a, I think most Piri Piri places like mild, medium or hot, done. Game over, finished, not here. We've got Korean, uh, the sweet barbecue, the mango. Oh my God, and we've got the chicken skinless as well. Stop the fucking buzz. Right, mango. Chick this is like super high quality chicken. Chips, mango sauce. This is a home run. <laughs> All this for 15 quid as well, by the way. Really well priced. We've had burgers this trip that have been over more than that for one burger. There you go, look. Tossed. Oh, yeah. Tossed and spun. Lovingly. And these sauces. Uh, I'm going to be honest, Jess. Look at this. There's loads of chickens. Like, they are not skimping. I'm going to be honest. How excited was I when he said about getting all these sauces? Work. Toppy tops. <laughs> those that know. Those that know, know. And those that don't, need to know. <laughs> I really feel like the team behind this restaurant and the one we went to before are real pioneers. This is not normal, is it? It's, and it's, it's our job to show you this type of food. Some people at home might be sitting there going, it's only chicken and chips. It's not. It's high quality chicken breast, tossed in, collaboration with the best in the game. It was openly said. Price point on these, I don't know what it is, but four and a half quid or something. Really struggling to compete with the lower end chicken shops. We're doing like a two piece, two piece and chips for like two quid or something. Like, it's very tough to compete with these guys. However, there's an old saying, the cream always rises. And there is a revolution in fast food right now. Hopefully, with a bit of impact from our page that we want it, we want and expect decent food. Now, yes, it needs to be affordable, I get it. But we'll my God, there. absolutely Jess. My God, look at it. I've got veg, I've got chicken skin, I've got mango sauce, beautifully cooked, flame grilled chicken, breast, topping, my chips. Mm, got some chips. <laughs> So I've just got a little crunch of um, chicken skin. <laughs> and last but not least, every chicken meal, you've got to have a burger, you've got to have chips, you've got to have wings. What are the wings saying? This is, I believe, the Korean sauce. Oh, it smells well Double good. jointed. Now, my, I suppose the one negative I've got to say, I prefer them in flats and flats and irons rather than jointed uh, it's pub I've publicly said it before I would much prefer to see I would much prefer to see them butchered one more time but here we go give you a close up look at the char you're getting from that working with that sauce sugary sauce as well well with the this Korean sauce you get, with the, you get over the flame and you're going to brown it off the sugar's going to brown off Jess Look, can you see what's happening here already? Hey, bro, how's it going? Yeah, good. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, what, what is it? It's called Food Review Club. Oh, yeah. What's your name? My name's Finn. Finn. Finn, anything you want to say to the world? Um, you know, I love food. I love Food yes. Review Club. Yes, Finn! <laughs> so do you. Yes, thanks very much. Have you tried this place yet, Finn? I have a flaming head. Is it, is it good? It's wicked, my friend. Yeah. yeah so Are you hungry? Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. Get, some, get some. I'll sort you out some food if you want to try some food. Yeah. Talk to me about your skateboarding. You enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to skateboard once. <laughs> it wasn't very good. I was too scared to ever drop in. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's scary. It's scary. 
All right, cool. Well, nice to meet you. There, there he is, look. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Thanks, dude. All right, nice to meet you. Thank you. See you later. See you, bro. Stay, stay safe, yeah? I just ate that wing without actually telling about it. All right. <laughs> He's a nice lad, right? Let's actually talk. <coughs> the wing. I had the first one, and it melted in my fingers. I just consumed it whilst chatting to this young lad. That is the Korean sauce. I've got soy. I've got sugar. I've got my garlic. Do you know what I've got the most of? I'll show you. Quality meat. <laughs> Ready? That is the quality I am talking to you about right now. Look at that. Like ones you can munch. It's just elite chicken. Can you remember the last, other than Wagwan, places like that? Hull. Wagwan chicken in Hull. Chicken George in Luton. Marston's in Sheffield, Leeds? Leeds? No, Hardsfield. Uh, or, or far away up north. <laughs> Name me another good, uh, top chicken place, Jess. is so much better than what I thought it would be. And sorry for licking my fingers guys. You know what I'm like, love diving in. Um, th that is breathtaking chicken. I just sort of love to have seen them butchered into individual pieces. But you did get five, I've got five double wings, so that's like 10, it's like a 10 piece of in, in normal, you know, that's, that's kind of cool. Big in flavour, big, sorry, big in size, big in meat portion, high quality wings. Wow! Flaming hen. How chuffing nice is it to see another chicken shop break onto the scene that's delivering what we all know and love. The sauce is exceptional. I'm talking to you now, I've actually got some heat coming through there as well. I've got chili, I've got garlic, and maybe a bit of ginger, I don't really know. But it's a, it's a Korean, very unique Korean sauce. Uh, that sugary sweetness caramelized off over the hot flames or over the, over the grill. It, it's just breathtaking, I'm really blown away. The team have done it again. Jess, it's time for a score. Whilst we deliberate, hello, how are you? I also deliberate for a score. Drink watch. Rio Tropical. May I add, particularly bad drink selection. Josh on the team. I think we need to start seeing some things in there, like Iron Brew, um, Ting, Lilt is a must. <laughs> any any self-respecting fridge, drinks fridge, needs to have these key, key goods inside. Rio, let's go. Tell you what, it's good. It's just not Lil, is it? <laughs> it's good, but it's just not Lil. All right, cool. Time for a score. Cheltenham, you've got a whale on your hands here. You have got a physical whale on your hands. Congratulations to the team. Good branding, great food, super flavors, and exquisite experience for a foodie like myself. I've got a big smile on my face. It delivered and some. This is a nine. Nine point what? Where are we going with this, Jess? What are we going to do? I'm going to have to dock a few points for the wings. I'm, I would. This would elevate it so much more if they were individuals. If I had ten individual pieces, though, I think I just want to top it off me to get that more of a more of a vibe. A flowery bap. Oh, can't wait to eat that again. <laughs> this is a nine point three. Big score. Over the moon with it. I'm properly chuffed for the team. 
um, and how good is it to end our Southwest tour on this note. Another great score. Just how I wanted it to end. We're here to expose the best, to uncover those hidden gems, try and deliver you some cool food content to know why you're watching now because you love your food. Oh, it's my horrible... Oh, no. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this tour and the video, the page, please give us a subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up or a share on Facebook and Instagram. It mean the world to us. And most of all, thanks for your time. I really, really appreciate it. We've not done with tours yet. We've got some others in the pipeline um, to be announced very soon, I hope. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, that was the Flaming Hen. Uh, brought to you, I suppose, by Main Unit Location Services for lending us the motorhome for the trip. And that was it, yeah, Cheltenham, signing out on that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a review.